Hello, everyone. Oh, so good to be here. Ooh, I just finished doing a little video over in Dear Diary. And of course, I had to stop by. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, I titled this powders and potions because I was having such a fun little time in the kitchen as I have been for the last few days, just getting back in there and saying, okay, what is what are these things that I have in here that either I haven't used for a long time or have a new way of using or I, I need to use them. I need to use them up before they either go bad or stale or whatever it is. So um, I won't do the full blown um, lesson here because that is actually for the Emerge, the Dear Diary Emerge people and over in Dear Diary. But I do, I'm just so excited about some of these things. I was gifted on the weekend um, some beautiful kale powder, kale powder, kale powder. Now, sounds like I said cow, cow, pow, uh, kale powder. And I had just finished cooking a, a bunch of kale over the, the weekend. Yeah. What day is this? It doesn't matter. Um, so, and what I generally like to do is I blanch my kale, soften it, make it a little bit more tender, take the bitterness away, then do a cold, you know, flash whoosh. So it stops cooking. And then I kind of leave it in some water on, in a pot on the stove. And then what I do is take scoops of it and just add it to whatever I'm making stir fries or food and everything. Right. I enjoy kale. I like kale. I like it. Now I might use it with garlic. I might do it with, um, lemon. I might do it something totally different, you know, all these different flavors but I really enjoy it. And so when I got this powder, I thought, oh, wow. Like, how, what am I going to do with this? I was a little bit interested. I thought, I bet you a lot of people think that. And the number one thing people think is I'm going to make a smoothie out of it, right? I'm going to add it to things and I'm just going to hide and disguise it. And I thought, I don't want to hide and disguise it. I like kale. So I did taste the powder on its own first. I like to always do that and see what it tastes like. And I thought, wow, very alkalizing. Okay. What other profiles here? So, I mean, when you're eating the vegetable, it's vegetable. What do you put it with? You put it with your food. And so I thought, okay. So I was making up a, uh, a soup today, just with some stock that I'd made. And I thought, oh, this is going to go beautifully. But if I may share with all of you, um, kale powder, well, all green vitamins, they're water soluble and they can be damaged by heat and a lot of water. If you're not drinking the water, if you're washing them away, that's actually why I have a hard time with the kale when I'm blanching and I'm like, ah, I don't want to throw this water away. And so I usually save it to add to my stock and things like that. Um, and, but, or just drink it. And so I have to laugh. There's this hair that's really bugging me. It's funny. It's like a little pokey uppy, like a horn. That's okay. I didn't even want to do my hair today. I just wanted to come up and talk to you guys. So, um, with it being kale, first of all, kale, oh, wowzers loaded with beyond vitamins. Like it has K1, not K2, it has K1 and your vitamin C and your vitamin A and it's got quercetin. Oh my gosh. It's just like a yummy thing. It's fully loaded. And so as I date my diet, I thought, what would this be so beautiful? And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I was using, uh, the soup stock and I was using some leftover. I just had a little bit of the contract noodle left, which is, um, a beautiful substitute for, I share this, I think on lifestyle love stories channel, um, contract noodle coming from the cassava root. Or, Cause I think I said that cassava, cassava. <laughs> root. And I, so I had a little bit of, like I was making like chicken noodle soup almost. And so I thought this is going to be beautiful, but when to put the powder and potion in. So I knew I didn't want to cook with it. You don't want to destroy that with heat. And I don't, the vitamin C is so precious and everything. So what I did was I made up my little bowl, my pot of soup, and then I put it in my bowl, let the bowl just kind of cool off a smidgey. Anyways, I had to wait for it to consume it. And then what I did was I took my kale powder. I took a teaspoon of it, probably a bit more in a separate little mug. And I used my, uh, whether it was warm water from the kettle or just cold water, but it was definitely not hot. I just put a little bit in and mixed it up, right? So I'm making a paste then a little bit more. So it's a little bit watery. And then I was able to drizzle and add, just pour it into my soup, uh, my bowl that I was having. So I knew that I was getting my full teaspoon serving or whatever. And, uh, I knew I wasn't destroying it with the heat and the, and I was consuming the water cause it's a water-based, uh, you know, uh, vitamin there, the vitamin C is by the way, not the K. And as I was eating it, I was like, wow, this is a whole other dimension. It's like adding your vegetable to your soup. So I wasn't hiding and disguising it. I was adding to it. I was complimenting it. I was falling in love with the right food for me, literally. And it's so beautiful. Now, along with that soup, I did want to say that I did um, just boost the flavor. It didn't need it, mind you, but I want to boost the, the nutrient profile. And that was with, I use, I'm not a brand particular. I just happen to love this one, Organica. And I did the bone broth. So I knew that I was enhancing the, the protein, getting my 10 grams of protein with a serving size. Um, Cause I want to, you know, 
have my beautiful collagen and, and, and skin enhancing and bone building and all that good stuff and everything, keeping my heart healthy, my heart cell walls and building that. But kale actually is one of the heart health foods. So on cardiovascular month, which we are doing over in Emerge program, uh, that is absolutely supportive there. The, the vitamin C, like, I mean, wow, we love vitamin C. Oh, you know what? You just can't get enough of it. <laughs> Well, you can actually, because that's a natural laxative and you will know when you are having too much. <laughs> you go. Um, I'm going to pop on to see who I'm with here right now. Uh, see, Cause you know, what? I haven't been here for a while. As I said, I've been having some fun in the kitchen and the life and all that good stuff. So let me just pop over here. Say hello. Diddly do. I haven't seen Bernadette forever. So I want to see if anybody's here and Vedant's here. Hello. Good. I haven't seen everybody for a long time. Well, hello, Vedant. How are you doing? Do you use any powders in your, in your daily thing? Do you either make a smoothie or do you use, you know, just add them to something? So a lot of us can just take the supplements too, like the, in powder form in the, in a capsule, right? So you might be just consuming them that way. Maybe you really do eat like, a t I eat a ton of vegetables. I love them so much. In fact, I do mine in the morning just because I love them so much. Um, I, I feel balanced. They're also very alkalizing. So I find that if I'm feeling acidic, I don't know if you can feel acidic, but you can, you, there's, there's symptoms from being too acidic, but I kind of just don't ever feel well until I get my vegetables. And then I have that pep. Now, it's very true. You want your antioxidants really before bedtime, like in the nighttime too, they really assist in your um, rest and repair and rejuvenation as you are sleeping and getting that good quality sleep. So there's just you know what? There's just never a wrong time to take healthy foods. I just love them. So um, what else can I share? So that was my nutrition component of, of the video, my live today. And also, so I just, I miss everybody. And I really felt like, yeah, today's a good day to come on and say, and say hello to everybody. I'll get back into my fun stuff. Um, fun news on the front, GP Walsh, who, as you might know, I do Ohm School Live with. It used to be called The Flow. We do our show every Tuesday. He was living in Germany for the past three months and has returned to um, homeland in Seattle and in the States there. And so we are going to get all back up and going and in your face and all over the place so you can you can have some beautiful self-inquiry support, some, some meditation support, some figuring out, who how do I just and suffering and be happy. <laughs> so that's why I so enjoy working with him, to be honest. That's, it's, um, it's a feel good thing. So if you are looking for something like that, I guess I'm just going to do like, this is my newsletter. I'm doing a newsletter video <laughs> and say, oh, fun stuff. Actually, GP and I just finished a co-writing a chapter that's going to be published in a spiritual CEO. Super excited. Thank you, Robert. J. Moore for, for this and um, Marianne, so beautiful. I'm going to be in Marianne's book. I actually have a chapter coming up, Healthy Living. I've been doing a lot of writing. You know, it's funny. I um, You probably have heard me say this. Uh, seven years ago, six years ago, wow, I think so, I just wrote so much and so prolifically. It came so easy. I'll have to be honest. I'm struggling a little bit with writing these days because there's so much to write about, so much time you want to commit and, and have and share a story with somebody and, and whatever, or teach them, you know, deliver this message, this content, that you're not wasting somebody's time. You know, that's pretty bold to say. I mean, we can all talk for whatever reason, you know, get up there and just do your thing express. But in these chapters, we really wanted to make sure that we were delivering some valuable content to hopefully impact and help change your life, help you to know where you'd want a better life. And, and how is it possible? Where can you do those improvements? How can you do those improvements? Who do you need to help make those improvements? So um, it's been interesting. I think sometimes I'll, I'll take things so seriously that it stops me. And I think, oh my gosh, it's, it's not, you know, not perfectionist, but just really that over care. And it's like, oh, it needs to be right because I want to make this impact. How many of you have that, that there's a project, there's um, a business, there's a task, something that either seems so big, so overwhelming, so challenged that you can't imagine starting, but you know, you want to, or that you just want to do it so perfectly and so right that maybe that's holding you back or, or that your, your health maybe is just the energy levels. Your health just isn't quite there to have you focus and, and do that. Or your physical energy, you're tired. Maybe I'd love to hear any of these things. If I can support any of you in, in that way, um, I go through it, right? That's what we go through in this life. We're growing and learning and doing these things. And there's a, there's a cycle and there's a flow. And we, it's taking that time to have the self-inquiry, of course, absolutely. Taking the time to be able to listen. What is, you know, Noemi and I talk about this on our show, making that space to actually listen. And then when you hear it, what do you do about it? I mean, to really honor it and to be gentle and to love that. And 
to reach out when you do need support and when you're feeling like, yes, and, and then who to trust and, and who do you feel comfortable with? And say you reached out to somebody and thought you're going to be really super comfortable. Then you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not so much. Or, or it's the end of the road for anything, a project you're doing, a person that you're working with. A, a, you know, I, I really did. I, I, I've really noticed that, wow, I took like this time off of Facebook for, for a little bit and didn't bother me so much, to be honest with you. I enjoyed it because I was able to look around and my attention was called in other areas. So here's another fun question. Where is your attention calling you? Whether you're able to attend or not, you know, where is it that you're like, oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. Um, but I can't get to it because I have this, this, or this, or don't want to, or I want to, but I don't know how, you know, I, I had a lot of fun people, um, reach out and request and say, Hey, do you, can you refer me to this type of, uh, person, you know, whether it's a practitioner or a store or a product or a supplement, or what do you do? What's your thing? So many referrals were done in the last week or two. I, I really have I had fun with it. I really appreciated it. And sometimes people ask me things I haven't thought about forever. And I'm like, wow, thank you for the reminder. Like we, we often can forget that by asking these questions, we are in fact helping others to, first of all, think of an answer, maybe go research and find the answer, um, or to remember something that they haven't thought about for a while. It's just, it's really fun. Oh, that another fun thing. Yes so much of that happened because I had to go through and find some files and videos and stuff that I haven't thought about or looked at for years. And then upon doing that, I found some other goodies. Oh my gosh, did I ever find goodies? And because I found those goodies, I was able to wrap my mind around a strategy or something that I was thinking like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? So it's been a fun last two weeks, I must say. And I would love to hear what you guys have been doing for two weeks. I, I'm really out of the loop. I have to go through and, and see all the news feeds and everything. And then I think I want to share finally about our environment. Yeah, I definitely want to share about our environment. Um, mine being my event room. I'm very proud and happy to report that I really got through a lot of it and have some peace of mind. I was able to find what I'm going to call an expert. You know, I found an expert in antiques and um, vintage things that I was able to get an honest and, and solid opinion on certain things and help and guidance and assistance on the other items that I'm able to make a better decision. Sometimes we can't make decisions because our environment doesn't support it. And I'm not just talking about asking and listening, I'm talking about clutter perhaps, or you don't have enough information yet. You you cannot make this decision. The, the clarity is not there. You, you need to ask more questions. You need to ask more people. You need to broaden your scope. You need to make the time. You need the space. Uh, you need the gentleness. A lot of times we have such false assumptions, false beliefs. And I'm talking a little bit of, you know, self-inquiry work here that stop you. They literally stop you. Like for instance, some of my stuff, it's, it's my mother's and she's passed and I'm going through it. And some of the stuff I literally had the, you cannot get rid of this, or you cannot sell this, or you cannot do this with this item. And you have to go, why can't I? Okay. Where did that belief come from? Was it because my mother literally told me before she died? You absolutely do not give this away or just do this or throw this out or make sure you go through this. And then you think, okay, I've been asked to do something. I've, I'm going to honor the wishes as best as I can. And then I also need to honor what I need to, to do to move forward and, and figure this out or, or delegate and ha hand this off to somebody else who might be able to better they have more information. They have the clarity. They have the direction. They have the experience to do it. This is, it's so interesting how life, I love thinking, oh, oh I have one more fun share after this too, yes. Um, so that was a, a big part. I want to update you guys because I talked about that so much in the summer. It was stressing me out. Actually, this, this imagine a whole room and more than half of it was consumed with all these things. I've got it down to, I'm going to say less than an eighth. So thumbs up for me. <laughs> so another fun thing. Um, I love updating because you never know what it brings up in somebody else and what they're going through and what, what, yeah, whenever you share something, I think it's helpful. Um, so back November 29th, I had the, 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 the rollover, the, I 
car accident. I rolled my dad's van. Ah! So anyways, that was a snowstorm. It was horrible. Passed it. However, the roads, I mean, we have so much snow here, guys. Like it's insane. Um, and the roads have just not, not been good. And I have not felt comfortable to drive. And I only want to drive in daylight hours. And when the roads are clear and blah, blah, blah. So been a little tricky. I haven't been out that much. And um, in that process of having the accident, I am covered to have some, you know, chiropractic care and some RMT massage. Haven't had one of those for decades. And so I finally went for my first one. I've only had one. It's been a while, but I had the one and I knew I had like this sparkly bubbly feeling going like, oh, wow, I can't wait to ask questions. I know you'll be, most people say, okay, I want to go for a massage because I want to relax and, and have this, but I had questions. Why is this happening? Why is this going on and stuff? And it was really funny. And I'm just being really bold and transparent here. So I, I didn't think I had whiplash. I would have said, I'm fine. You know? And then later on, I was like, yeah, I just kind of pulled my shoulder. But I did have whiplash and to the point where I didn't realize this. And looking back at my videos, I can see it now. Um, my jaw, when I opened it, would, <laughs> would go that way, which I like quite a bit. And as the chiropractor was working on it, it came centered a little bit more. And, and now um, with the massage, was I, I was asking questions. I tried shutting up for a little bit of it, but um, I did ask the questions and a sparkly word came up. I knew it. I knew before going that a sparkly word would, would show up. And so I was asking questions and he said this one word, this term. And he said, something about your cranial nerve from, you know, the shoulder muscle that was really bugging me. Oh, it was bugging me. Um, it was coming up and he's like, oh, there's a cranial nerve that goes there. And I was like, cranial nerve. I like that term. I need to know more about these cranial nerves. <laughs> and so, um, of course, get, I got home so excited looking at cranial nerve that goes to the trap and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And then I learned even more. And I was like, yeah, well, what about this? I can help this client because, you know, maybe they have reflux. Maybe they have um, migraines. Like maybe they have problems. They can't swallow too early in the morning. All these stuff, like maybe their bowels, all this stuff because reflexology, right? And your, your feet and they're saying. So I was working with the cranial nerves kind of geeked out, was really fun, like loved it and was able to share with some people with what to do. And amazing. One of the cranial nerves that I was learning about, it's um, you, there's pressure points and stuff in the ears, in the ears. So you're not even, you're not, you know, um, manipulating the, the, the body and trying to dig in and massage it. Cause sometimes that can actually cause more pain. I know this because I bursitis and in my hip and you can't get there. You just can't get there, but you can get there through cranial nerves. <laughs> so, so I was really excited about this. And I thought, okay, so now I've been doing this new thing with the ears and just the things you, you might go, wow, it feels good when you do it, but you don't know why, but now I know why I like to know why that's why I like dating your diet. I like to date my food. I like to know all about them, <laughs> all about my food. So learning these things was really exciting. I can't wait to go back for another one to ask more questions. Um, just to learn a little bit more and just to see what sparkles. Please trust yourself, guys, in knowing that when something sparkles, I call it sparkles, gas, yeah, so like, oh, what's that? Follow that impulse. Follow that curiosity because there's something in there for you. Maybe you're going to deliver it and share it with somebody else, but it could just be for you, how to improve your life, how to make it better. Through all these things, um, I've been having iPhone elbow. Uh, back in the day, I definitely don't pay, play tennis, but tennis elbow thing, but just holding the phone up too much and, and overstraining. And, and when you do your cleaning, you're like, ah, that's not going to work. <laughs> so it's been improving. Everything's been improving, but not from the actual point. That's the trick, guys. Sometimes we think, okay, this is going wrong in my life. I have no money. Uh, my job sucks. Uh, my relationship, my health, my weight. Ugh. And we think it's that. We want to fix that but there's a flow to it. There's somewhere else up, up the river there that kind of stopped it coming, trickling down. And so a oh, big invitation for you guys to do self-inquiry work, to um, allow, to have this flow, to reach out, to share, to talk to me. Oh, I forgot to check. Sorry. <laughs> sorry I have to check that everybody's here. Oh, look at everybody. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello. And Joanne. Oh, wow. See, it's fun coming back here. Um, and just, just when you, Whatever you're struggling with, whatever is kind of, um, whether it's in a bad way, struggling or, or sparkling at you, follow that impulse, ask the questions. And if you're not quite sure, really reach out and kind of, you know, you don't want to just, maybe you don't want to air your, your dirty laundry, as they say, or just put it all out for everybody, but think of the top three people 
three to five. Yeah. Three people. We don't want to make this hard work on you. Think of three people. You think, wow, they've been through that. Wow. I wonder if they would know, or wow. I feel really good when I talk to them, reach out to them privately, even just send a little message. What are they going to do? No, I can't help you. What are they going to do? They're not going to respond. What are they going to do? They're going to help you maybe. Right. That's fun. And so I really invite you to do just don't feel alone and don't feel like you have to do all the hard work. Don't always want to hide and disguise things that you don't like. Let's find a way to either maybe it's not good for you or that you can like it or that there's a way. Ah, uh, just I just I'm full of yeah, possibility and optimism here. There's a lot of hard stuff in your life that shows up, right? That's like that is life. Uh, and some things are way harder than the others. And some you just don't know that if you just turned a little bit this way, it would fix, you know? Um yeah, just really lots of personal shares here and, and saying, saying that you don't have to be alone through all this. And uh, it feels good to be back. Yay. There <laughs> you go. So many fun recommendations to be make. If you need any help with anything, please let me know. Just comment here or private message me. Actually, there's a woman that I will be reaching out to today because I, um, the life of me it was funny. I couldn't think of her name. I was like, oh, I can't believe I can't remember her name. And I kind of put it in my mind, like, oh, I hope she's done something in the newsfeed lately. So that it jogs my memory. And lo and behold, it, and I, it was her birthday. So I was like, whoa, look at that. Um, so you know what? Really know, believe, and yeah, just know, believe and know that what you need is accessible. What you need is there. And it's so much, it's probably easier than you think. And so if you're struggling a little bit or you just don't know where to turn, just put it out there like, okay, it could be out there. Just start there, start there and go further, go further and reach out and ask me, you know what? I, I can, I'll just point you in some direction and maybe it's the wrong direction, but at least it's a different direction than just dead end, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, well, I better get myself back to other work and possibly in the kitchen to make a little bit more fun stuff. But as I said, this whole thing started with powdered kale. Yes, there we go. And, um, yeah, my friendly supporting friend here, powdered bone broth. Uh, just love talking about flavors and food. So let me know what's fun in your life. I shall talk to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>